My name is Jessica McDermott. Um, I lived in London until I was 18 um, and I moved up to Glasgow where I went to the Glasgow School of Art and I did a course called Visual Communication and I specialised in photography there but I'd always been like really interested in photography and storytelling and like it's always been my kind of uh, big passion. Um, so yeah, then I, when I moved to Glasgow I actually stayed there for another four years um, and I worked uh, part time throughout my studies and a little bit longer in a comedy club. And the, the comedy contacts I built up, that started to kind of influence some of my photography and I started doing some publicity stills and then um, some like, projects have uh, risen out of that as well. Having worked in, in comedy for a while, I wanted to do this project, Females of the Fringe. So in particular, in 2009, I photographed a group photo of female comedians that was organised by the female comedians themselves. And um, I wanted to go back and see what people felt four years on because at the time, there had been a lot of media talking about the fact that um, there aren't many women um, in comedy, that's why you don't see them on television, and, and they were responding to that by all coming together, and I wanted to see how they felt that had changed, if it had changed. And I think given that it's now five years on from that group photo, and one year on for me like shooting this project, we still continue to have stuff in the media, so it feels like it's quite prevalent. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that I went to do it, and I feel now that there's some sort of evidence here that there are female comedians and that they are funny, you just have to kind of read their interviews. I, I think of myself as a photographer, not a female photographer, and comedians, I mean only female comedians, have this label of female. You, you don't hear about male comedians, it's a given. Um, that's what they are. And, you know, it, I, I think it's important um, to try and make that distinction that, that, that they are comedians first and, and women second, and that I feel I'm a photographer first and a woman second. It might, you know, that, that might be something I draw upon in the things that I do projects on, like this one, and, and for them as well, but it doesn't mean that that is the, the first thing that should be mentioned about them. So. That's kind of why I wanted to do it. I had this, this in, those connections in order to do it. So, yeah, I just felt it was a good time to do it. And I think given that, like, as I say, it's continued, it has been the perfect time to kind of highlight this. Um, so it's up at the Fringe at the moment, um, because uh, the Fringe is happening. And uh, so it's being sold at two of the, the big venues, the Gilded Balloon and the Stand. So I'm just trying to get it into as many different um, bookshops, uh, online outlets, anything I can and publicise it, I just kind of want to get it out there because I feel it's one of these topics that somebody might think, oh I might be interested in that but then that you know feminism is still this kind of dirty word for some people. So you know they might not be drawn to it themselves. They, but if they could see it themselves, you know, physically see it, I, I think they would see that actually there's loads in there for everyone. And given that female comedians just like female photographers um, have all sorts of topics of interest and cover all sorts of strange, you know, surreal topics and do character comedy as well as straight stand-up and stuff like that. I just want to kind of get it out there so that people can kind of see what it's all about.